So I finished building up my Kiori and I also got Goro's D6. Now my Mono Geo team is complete and I'm going to do a showcase of the Abyss with my C0 Ito, C0 Kiori, C0 Zongli, and C6 Goro. And just show you how quickly I clear the Abyss. I'm not a speedrunner, but I do think my clear times are rather good for a free-to-play player. As for how Kiori plays, the only thing I'm not a fan of is her e-swap mechanic because it's just a skill issue, but sometimes when I try to do the e-swap, I accidentally end up casting Ito's E before like the ultimate. So this is a non-buffed run, meaning none of the Abyss buffs benefit this team whatsoever. So this is the team's raw damage out. Like there's no extra crit or extra attack or extra defense being provided by the Abyss buffs. I took a buff that's conditional on being below 50% HP, which will never happen in this team. And I also took the Elemental Mastery buff, which also does not benefit this team whatsoever. There are also kind of a couple of mistakes that I've made. Uh, some rotational issues and some where I don't think I got the Kyuri E swap off. Because for me it's just something I haven't gotten used to. So you may see instances where you're like, why did he do that? It's because I forgot. <laughs> but being able to clear within two minutes is still pretty good for a scuff. Energy is also not perfectly tuned to be ready at each um, start of a new chamber, so I had to spend time in chamber 2 and 3 to regenerate energy. Um, so this also definitely added to my clear speed. There's also instances where I didn't really get my energy funneling off correctly. But even then, I still think this is a good sign of how strong Ito and Kyori can be. I don't think I have any complaints. If a character can clear an abyss side in under 45 seconds, I generally consider them pretty strong. Especially when they're C0. 